Welcome to Squarebox Games. I'm Ryan, and today we'll be doing a Let's Play of Marvel Champions. For the hero, we'll be using Hawkeye from the Rise of the Red Skull expansion, and for the villain, we'll be using Claw from the Marvel Champions core set. We'll be playing on normal difficulty and using the bomb scare scenario. So let's play. Okay guys, a few things about the game layout real quick. Our villain health is going to be 12 hit points per player, so Claw starting out here with 12. Hawkeye starts out with 9 hit points. A few things about Claw real quick. He has 0 attack, but Forced Interrupt says when Claw attacks, give him 1 additional boost card for the section. On the 1A side, says that we need to search the encounter deck and find Defense Network, which I've done. Reveal it. Over here, Defense Network, uh, when revealed, place one additional threat per player. So we have one player, so one, two, three, you can see I've added that. Then this says, re when revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that into play, engaged against the first player. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to get started. All right, Hydro Bomber. So, great. Oh, one additional thing I forgot to mention here, uh, Defense Network has a crisis icon, which means we must deal with this threat before we can deal with Distribution Network. Distribution Network also has six threat till it uh, advances to the next stage. It does not say that we lose when we reach six, so we would advance to Secret Rendezvous 2A and get that done. Okay, so we start out with Clint and he is going to have a hand size of six, so let's go ahead and draw up All right here. Let's go ahead and get this organized. It looks like I've got some leadership cards. We do have an ally, an upgrade, and another ally here. The first thing is we've got weapon of choice action. Spend one resource of any type. Search your deck and discard pile for Hawkeye's bow. Add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Because uh, this is not a huge loss if I discard this, I'm gonna go ahead and spend uh, one mental resource. That's mental, right? Yeah. And we're gonna search our deck for Hawkeye's bow, which is something we greatly need. The arrow cards in here, Hawkeye's bow, there we go. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up real quick. Great, Hawkeye's bow. We're gonna go ahead and put that into play here. Then we're gonna go ahead and flip here. And since we don't have any arrows, exhaust an Avenger character you control and ready another Avenger character. Uh, we can attack an ally. Uh, we don't want to do that. Um, well, I don't really have enough here to get any of these guys out. I'd really like to do a little more. However, Hawkeye's bow says your hero gets plus one attack uh, and each of your arrow attacks gains ranged. Range ignores any retaliate. There's not a whole lot we can do here, so I'm going to go ahead and work on this... Uh, this Hydra guy, I guess. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So let's go ahead and attack. Go ahead and attack him, get rid of him. And honestly, that's just about all I can do. Unfortunately, ah, oh man, this is, this is a great, great card. War Machine already has range, so I'm gonna go ahead and just discard him. And then uh, since this is sort of an easy payment, these are easy payment cards, I'm just gonna keep it those actually no i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well well i think that's all i can do at the moment or all i want to do at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and ready hawkeye and then we're gonna draw up so i can draw up to five here for the hand size so now we've got five this will be helpful next turn great all right villain phase no fun first thing we're gonna do we're gonna add one threat to the main scheme here. The next thing here is Claw is going to attack us. Now, since I have nine, and this has a hazard icon. Hazard icon means that you get dealt an extra encounter card uh, when the encounter cards are dealt, if I remember right. Tell me if I'm wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and add one, two, three here. Finally, one for Hawkeye since he's the single player in the game. You know, that, that wasn't terrible. Gonna have to do something about this, I'm almost certain. Okay, so what can I do? I could attack with 
Goliath here and maybe even get close to pushing it to the next phase. Got some allies that we could throw out. Team training, play under the play any player's control. Each ally you control gains one hit point. That actually may be helpful, but Avengers Tower, this is, this is something I kind of need to get out. Um, oh man, also this guy would be great to have out. So let's see here, uh, Cable Arrow. So this is a thwart card. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow, remove three threat from a scheme, ignoring any crisis icons. And I think that's probably what we want to do to get this down. I don't know though. I mean, hmm, this is, this is where it uh, becomes interesting because I have five health if I got some sort of big attack, especially with this extra encounter card happening, that could be kind of nasty. So now this is a great card, but I don't think I could play it right now choose a player each character that player controls gets one thwart and one attack until the end of the turn so that would help here with goliath for sure i could get three thwart and go ahead and take care of this and then if i use the thwart and focused on hawkeye or with hawkeye i could i could clear all that out or i could clear all this out let's try and do that i think i'm going to try and do that and I hate to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for that with this card, or I'm gonna expend U.S. Agent there. We're gonna do lead from the front. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give Eli uh, Goliath plus one for each of his items. Oh yeah, I forgot he gets an extra extra thing here for his attack that he did. Okay, so now he has three thwart. So we're gonna go ahead and thwart on. Ah, dang it, probably this. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna remove three thwart here. So we're gonna be down to one. So he is exhausted. He's gonna get an additional counter and Hawkeye. What to do with Hawkeye? Man, Avengers Tower would be a really good, really good thing to have. But as much as I would love to use it, I, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and expend this. We're gonna play Cable Arrow. And we're gonna exhaust Hawkeye's bow, which gives Hawkeye plus one attack here. And we're gonna go ahead and throw uh, that at that, which removes three, removing any or ignoring any crisis icons. So we've got this down to one. Now Hawkeye has plus two attack. I could attack Claw. My thought is if I attack Claw for two, that gets him down to 12 or gets him down to 10 and then for my final turn with Goliath, I could give him plus four attack here and I could do, you know, a, kind of a big bomb on him, which I'm planning on doing anyway. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exhaust Hawkeye here for his one thwart. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. That way I don't have to deal with a second encounter card. This stays until the end of the phase. So we're going to go ahead and reset everybody. And we're gonna draw up one, two, three, four, five. This is helpful. Vibranium arrow, the electric arrow, plus we have this uh, expert marksman, which is, that's that's really helpful. Claw's turn. We're gonna add one here. So now we're up to two. Okay, so Claw is now gonna attack. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what I should do here. I guess I could always defend his attack with Goliath, but man, I'd love to use him to get five health down. I do have the Vibranium Arrow, though, that I could use. Mm, you know what? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If he attacks, I'll defend with Goliath. Um, it doesn't have overkill, so let's see what would happen. Okay. So I am going to defend with Goliath. So he is going to do a total of three. So Goliath is gonna die. See you, man. Thanks for your help. Yikes, three damage. That would have taken me down to two. So now we're gonna run our encounter card here. Yikes. So when revealed hero form, which I am, take two damage. Claw heals two damage. Yikes. Dude, that would have killed me if I did not defend with Goliath. Yikes. Well, he doesn't heal two damage because he's at full health. Glad I defended with Goliath. Allies are good here. Allies are great. This goes away as well. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can hit this dude at all. We've got expert marksman, which we need to get out for sure. We've got this, which you attach to an ally. We have no allies at the moment and none to play. So we're just going to use that to pay 
for this here, expert marksman. This says exhaust expert marksman generate a wild resource for an arrow event. I could basically play one of these here. Oh, I'm an idiot. That does each player that the character controls. <sighs> what an idiot. Oh well. I definitely want to try and play this. So I'm going to exhaust this to do one resource here. And then we're going to use this to give us another resource. We're going to play this. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow. Deal six damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. Discard any tough status cards from the target before dealing damage. So this does a cool six damage. Finally, six damage there. We are now at six health. Now this says quick draw, exhaust Hawkeye and ready his bow, but I don't have enough to do this electric arrow. I'm also at three health. I feel like we're in a pretty good position here with only two. So I'm just gonna have to flip over here. We're gonna go ahead and heal up three health. So this is gonna take us to six health. Let's go ahead and reset. That's all I can do here at the end of the phase. So we're gonna go ahead and draw up. Our hand size is six. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have six cards. Yes, this is great. Great here. We got another uh, upgrade here for our arrow resources, which is gonna allow us to do some damage. So we're gonna add one here at the start of the villain phase, one threat, and now Claw's gonna scheme. Now this is where things get dangerous. He has two, he's gonna get a boost, and yes, he is going to reach this. One boost, total of three scheme, six. Secret Rendezvous, we move to this. It says, discard cards until from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play, uh, again, it's engaged with the first player, then advance. So we're gonna go ahead and discard till we get to minions. Okay guys, so I had to shuffle the encounter deck because I ran out of cards. So when you do that, if I remember right, you have to add an acceleration icon here to the main scheme and it does not go away. Now, if I'm wrong about that, I haven't looked up the rules or anything. Uh, I'm just remembering that offhand. So if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments section. We found our armored guard minion here by discarding. And he has zero scheme, one attack. He also has guard, which means that while he is in play and alive, I cannot attack Claw, which totally sucks. We're going to go ahead here. And now Claw is, uh, he schemed. So I still have to draw an encounter card here. So let me draw this encounter card. Gang up. When revealed Alter Ego, this card gains Surge. So that means we draw another card. And great, we get Illegal Arms Factory, which we've already had to deal with. We get three threat plus one additional threat per player. And it has the hazard icon. Here we go, three. We get our one for Clint. Now we've got four. This is, uh, this is not looking hopeful everybody all right so we've got sonic arrow we've got an ally team training this is something we need to get out if we're gonna be moving forward so since we don't have uh any allies we're gonna go ahead and play this physical resource to gain this resource so now we have basically two free resources for an arrow event which is great. So Sonic Arrow allows us to confuse an enemy and do three damage. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Let's let's exhaust these two. Actually, no, we can't do that yet. I've got to get some damage done on this guy. Let's chance it. Let's go ahead and flip to Hawkeye. We're going to go and play this Sonic Arrow by spending these two resources here. And we're going to do three damage. So that does three damage to this guy, and he is out of here. Next, we do have this electric arrow, which stuns an enemy and deals three damage, five if the enemy is already stunned. I'm gonna go ahead and play these two energy resources here to get the electric arrow out. And that's gonna allow me to exhaust Hawkeye's bow. That's gonna deal three damage to Claw here. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three. He's down to three health. He is also going to be stunned from this. Which means the next time he would attack, I basically, he's not allowed to attack. Also, Hawkeye now gets three or gains one attack. He now has an attack of two. Now, here's the thing. If I attack him, I'm going to take him down to zero health and he's going to advance to the next stage. 
don't really know if that would be the best move. You know, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to think about it. Let's go ahead and attack. We've got additional one here, so this is going to take him down to zero. Things are about to get really nasty, I think, for me. Claw has now been taken to zero. You know, I don't remember if these things carry over to the next phase of the villain. I don't think they do, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep it because... I'm not feeling very positive about this at all. First thing we're gonna do is get his hit points going here. He has 18 hit points per player, which is just lovely. So let's go ahead and get this, and things are about to get stupid. So this says, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the Immortal Claw card. Reveal it, shuffle the encounter deck. So I think I saw that here in the discard pile. Let's look for it, the Immortal Claw, yikes. Claw gets plus 10 hit points. When the scheme is defeated, Claw loses this hit points. It has a total of three, and it also adds this acceleration token, meaning that we get one additional added to the main scheme, which is just great. So he's gonna now have 28 hit points. For all of you watching at home, I need to get rid of this first because it's gonna add more to this and it gives him hit points so my main thing needs to try to be get rid of this which is going to be really really aggravating but i do get a sort of free pass here um with claw because he is i chose to leave him stunned which is probably not the right way to play so let's go ahead and reset here we do have mockingbird uh, that we might be able to get out next time and that would give us some help so we're going to draw up to five cards here. Team training, deal three damage to the villain in each minion. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow, deal three damage. Ah, this is not super helpful. Jeez, I, you know what? I may have to just do some stuff to get her out and then use these guys to thwart. I, I don't want to waste arrows fighting damage that can go away easy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we... Oh, gosh. We're now adding one two three threat to the main scheme per turn one two three stinks claw would attack me but he is stunned so he's just gonna have that go over here i'm gonna now deal encounter cards one encounter card claw heals two damage and i take two damage so i'm gonna take two damage but claw can't heal any because he's already at full health and then I'm also going to get a second encounter card here because of this hazard icon, which is tremendously awesome. So he has guard, which means I cannot do anything to him, uh, in, to claw until he is removed. Oh, I forgot. This guy gets toughness. I completely missed that. So the other guy should have got toughness. No, I killed him with a, an arrow that bypasses toughness. That That's right. But I still should have put the card on there. That was my bad. This sucks. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see what we can do here. It would be great to get this arrow out. Uh, or to play this arrow. Deal three damage to both. Oh, man. But it also would be good to use this one instead. Stun. But if I deal the three damage, that's going to go ahead and get rid of him. Okay. After thinking about this for a second, I, I really don't see any way around this. To move forward, I am going to have to get rid. I guess I'm gonna to try to keep this explosive arrow. I'm gonna use these three resources here, unfortunately, to pay for Mockingbird. So Mockingbird comes out and it says, when the villain initiates attack against you, spend one resource of any kind, return Mockingbird to your hand, prevent all damage of the attack. My strategy here, uh, I'll, I'll try and try and play it out uh, as I go instead of explaining it. So the first thing I'm going to do with her is we are going to thwart to off this main scheme. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just leave one, one remaining here. We're going to exhaust Hawkeye's bow. We're going to pay a resource to do this explosive arrow. Choose a player and deal three damage to the villain and each player engaged with that villain now this guy has a tough status card so it's going to remove this and he has guard so it's not going to do anything to him but take this guard or take his tough status card away however hawkeye is going to get three uh because he gets an additional one attack so we're going to spend one instead of attacking this guy we're going to do this 
We're gonna get rid of this. This removes our acceleration. It also takes Claw's health back down to 18. 18. Gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and flip to Hawkeye. I can't do that. I don't know if I can do that because he's got two, which will get added here, at least two more. If he were to get a boost of any kind, that would be a total of five. So I would immediately lose if he got even one boost. So I'm going to have to stay Hawkeye. Uh, here's, here is part of my strategy here. When the villain initiates the attack, I can pay any resource, which I've got here, and prevent all damage and return her to my hand. So I may go ahead and just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw up my... Uh, let's reset everything. Draw up. Oh, she also needs a damage. And I can use her to block this, probably, uh, if he attacks. It's only one attack. And let's draw up. We've got some good options here. We could play, you know, next turn might be okay. We might be okay next turn. Villain. So we're going to go ahead and add two to this main scheme. One, two, which gives us a total of five, which is just fantastic. So I'm going to have to really deal with this relatively soon. He's going to attack. And I'm going to defend against the attack instead of using her to help defend against this attack. The reason why is because I need her help here to get rid of uh, this stuff. I could see myself dying here. You know what? I'm going to defend with her. This may be a bad, bad choice, but it worked for me last time with Goliath. So I'm going to choose... I, it worked with Goliath, so we'll try it. So I'm going to defend against this attack here. So one plus two boost cards, three, four, oh my gosh, five, holy cow, five. So she dead. Man, why do all these massive attacks come when I get allies finally? Uh, now I get dealt an encounter card. Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, Claw attacks, that's one, two, Okay, now we're gonna do encounter, uh, the encounter phase. Uh, so I get an extra one. Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. Uh, you know what, I, can I defend? I think I can defend against this. I haven't defended yet, so I, I'm gonna say yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong. One, so he does a total of two, which is not awful. Uh, I defend for one. So that is going to deal damage, going down to three here. And that's gonna add one threat to the main screen. I think I'm gonna threat out, I really do. I don't, I don't see how I can not flip and heal. Um, especially with him having 18 health. Man, I've just, I'm buried a little bit deep here. Uh, I also get an extra encounter card. The stuff isn't over yet. Oh, bomb scare, oh Lord. When revealed, place one additional threat here per player. So that's gonna get three. That is an acceleration icon, which means each turn, there now is gonna be one, two, three threat added to the main scheme. Oh, and it is Hawkeye's turn. I don't wanna throw in the cards here, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't see how I can win here. I really don't. So I've got the explosive arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I do that? I'm gonna exhaust Hawkeye's bow here. I'm gonna play the explosive arrow with one resource and that's gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna say, just for the sake of me saying that I can do this, it's also gonna do damage to him since he's dead and it's all in the same thing. So he's now down to 15. Maybe this will make my loss a little less humiliating. With Hawkeye tapped, I I don't think there's anything I can do. I thought, well, this is an ally. I could give a tough status card. Attached to an Avenger, I, I gain Aerial. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do. If I flip to heal, I lose. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way that I can I can win here. But you know what? We're gonna play it out. We're gonna play it out and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything. Yeah, because there's just not really anything I can do. Go ahead and reset everything, and. Let's do this. Make sure that we have all the cards that we need. Oh, Black Knight, cool. It is now the villain's phase. And I am going to lose. One, two, three. That is gonna put me to nine. And I have been defeated. If this stage is complete, players lose the game. Okay guys, well, that's it. I have been defeated by Claw. 
Sorry, Hawkeye, you're going to have to have some Avengers help for next time. If you liked watching this Let's Play, um, don't forget to just crush that like button and rub that little notification bell so you can get uh, new content when it comes out uh, from Squarebox Games. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.